Ready to go out? You ready? What's up, Modern Stutters? We've had a bunch of viewers ask about a house tour of our house, so we thought we'd just give you a quick little overview of the house and some of the ways we've done it. Let's go inside and check it out. Come on, Pluto. So when you first walk in, it's just a big wide open concept. All the pine in the house here was bought at a local mill and it was all their second, so it was they sold it dirt cheap. So it was actually cheaper to do the pine in here than it would have been to do sheetrock. When we built this house, we tried to do it on a budget and as frugally as we could. The kitchen, believe it or not, is from an auction. It's second hand. Somebody took out the cabinets, the granite countertops, and the sink. So we got that at a steal also. Over here, this big blank area we have. That's gonna be a wood cook stove someday once our budget allows for that but we've been trying to do stuff here as we see fit and as our priorities change and we have it so it's in the budget and we made a nice pantry over here believe it or not all these pine shelves are made out of scrap lumber that we got with all the other lumber from the house this was a big wide open space for over a year this winter we finally decided it was time to build our kitchen island we figured out what we needed for the area, and we built it, making a big concrete countertop. That big massive countertop only cost 150 bucks, whereas if we went granite, it would have been over 2,000. Some point, and hopefully soon, we're gonna be putting in a built-in desk there. We'll use matching corbels that we have left over from the island build right here with a nice concrete countertop to match. Over here, we got the dining room area. We got our regular dining room table and then we made it into more of a breakfast nook. We made some big long benches out of leftover flooring. And we made it so you can have more storage in here. Over here we got our sliding glass door that leads out into our beautiful deck. You guys like that? Oh that's right we haven't built it yet. That's another one of those things when it becomes a priority and it's in the budget. We'll decide to do it later on. And just go in the hallway. Got sliding doors. We heat our house in the winter time with a wood stove in the basement. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Just using natural convection, so that just means the air circulates throughout the house through some grates we have in the floor. So what we did here is we put dowels on the wall, and I have a vent right here. The hot air comes up, and it helps dry our towels out a lot quicker. Again, all these shelves are just built out of scrap lumber that was left over from when we did the interior walls. Why do I have those doors? Because I worry. Because you worry about what? Everything. What's everything? I don't want anybody falling down those stairs, so you made me those doors. <laughs> so you don't have to listen to it anymore. Okay. Those doors are just made out of scrap lumber again, but we needed to leave the stairway open as much as we can because our heat rises right there. So I'll bring you in the basement and I'll show you that. So you come downstairs, the basement isn't finished. The goal is that someday we will finish off the basement, but for now, it's functional and usable. We have a little seating area down here. We have an office desk over here. We have a walkout basement, and we finished off the walls with a bunch of siding that wasn't milled correctly, so they let us keep it, and we were able to put that on the walls. When you're a modern homesteader, and you don't have a workshop or a garage, your basement ends up looking like this. You need a place to put all your tools. One of the big things we kept in mind when we were designing the house is we wanted wood heat, but if we ever lost power, we didn't want to have to worry about a blower, an electric blower or anything. So I found this stove. It's uh, made by DS. It's an Energy Max 160. It's, what it does is these grates right here go all the way to the floor. So it sucks the cold air in through the floor 
and circulates it up and out around the whole room. And the way we have it set up, our bedrooms are here. So the hot air is just gonna rise a little bit through the floors, which is fine. We wanna try to keep the bedrooms as cold as possible. We have it set up so the hot air rises through the stairway. And I have the one vent in the bathroom, which is right near the stairs. So the heat's gonna be rising over here anyways. That's to dry the towels. Then over here we have just some plywood ductwork we made. We put it up to the ceiling. You can see the grates. And you need to have your ductwork drop down 18 inches and that'll make the cold air from upstairs fall down below the hot air up here. And just, we have three other ones. Let me show you. We have another one over there. Right out front here, you can't see it yet, but we do plan on having a screened in porch slash mudroom right here. But we haven't gotten that far. I think it's one good thing to keep in mind if you're trying to build a, your own modern homestead. You don't need everything at once. You don't need to go in big old debt. Do it when you can do it and when it makes more financial sense for you. Don't rush into things. Take your time. Get what you need and establish so you can live comfortably. And then add on as you go and do what's a priority for you at the time. We have lots of things that our wishes and wants are, but we always are trying to remind ourselves, what do we need? Do we want golden handcuffs? Or do we want to be happy and more free and know that we can do what we want to do when we can do it? We just need to slow down and remind ourselves that we don't have to get everything done right away. And one quote that I really like is, we overestimate what we can do in a year and we underestimate how much we can do in five or 10 years. So make a five or a 10 year plan for your homestead. If there's anything I missed in the house that you guys wanted to see, leave it in the comments below. I can always do another update video for you. Hope you guys liked the video. I hope it gave you a little bit of insight into how we built our house and why we did some of the things we did. And we'll see you right back here, guys, tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Mm -hmm.